The first page of Happy, if you guys have seen it, um, he described it as, I wanted this to feel like kind of like an Eisner-esque story. And so I love Will Eisner. Like he's one of, like I've studied his storytelling book and I think that guy is the unsung hero. It's great that our biggest award, yeah, it's great that the biggest award comes from Eisner. And that he's the Oscar of comic books because you're always reaching for that level of just fluid excellence. So the first page of Happy actually pans in like an Eisner panel would. So I started to bring that into other places where he might not have defined it. And uh, I was saying earlier, I got to draw an eye opening over four panels in issue two. And it's just, that's something that I was able to interject. I'm just playing with adding stuff because sometimes, you know, it's about, like you said, controlling time. And if you can make things slow down, that's how you make things slow down. There's a great illustration in the Eisner book of showing like water dripping and a clock ticking. And as that drip gets bigger over four panels, you understand how much time is going by. It's just a few seconds. But if I drew like the water dripping in panel one, and then I drew the exact same angle and the exact same faucet and the same clock, but the clock just has like a spot where the clock used to be and the faucet is old and rusted and there's no water, you would know a great deal of time had passed and we're now in the future. But one gutter can tell you that time travel. I, I forgot to is everyone familiar with what Marvel Smile is? I just kind of threw that out there. Does everybody know what that is? Yeah. 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 Okay, so everybody knows what Marvel Style is. Explain it. The plot and then draw up the my my, uh, <clears throat> my Marvel Style script from uh, Tom DeFalco for the Marvel uh, Mystery 70th Anniversary Special. The whole plot was half a page long. <laughs> just like literally, uh, it was a 22 page story, but like it'd be like pages one to three, uh, you know, big fight at the carnival or whatever. Just like two sentences on, on each scene, so the whole thing. He writes half a page that I spent two months drawing it. <laughs> really good comic though. <laughs> In the dollar bins nationwide. <laughs> I, I wore Marvel style for, uh, gosh, all the way till like 98, 98 from 87. What is that? Uh, 11 years? Oh, wow. Yeah, so, but I, I actually don't even remember what it was like. It's been so long, honestly. <laughs> I mean, and, and um, but I, I do remember, it wasn't quite as, 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 Paraphrased as a half a page, but it'd be like several pages long. So like all those action issues I did with Chris were all Marvel style. And, I mean, it, you know, it works. I mean, if you have a good rapport with your your collaborator, I mean, you leave enough room. <laughs> yeah, you leave enough room. I mean, I, you're right. I would always, you know what? We would fight over it. That's uh, how much room I would leave for work balloons. But I, yeah, yeah, that was the magic of Tom Orzakowski, <laughs> like the panels, the, the work balloons would go through the through the gutters and all around. It's like. Uh, a snake of, of words, um, but yeah, um, I, I, at this point, I, I'm very comfortable working full script, and I think there would be a lot of work going back to Marvel style. But at the time, it, it was pretty easy. Um, I'd like to ask you a question: What, what, what are Frank Miller's scripts like? Uh, Frank's full script, but is he, he, he's, he's, very, he's very terse. Yeah, he does panel by panel, but he's very terse and and uh, like Batman punches this guy, and then that's... Yeah, yeah, and sometimes he'll call out an angle or something, but I'm so familiar with his work, I can almost immediately visualize it, like how he would draw it, and then I gotta think, like, oh, I can't do that, because <laughs> he'll think I'm ripping him off, even though I haven't drawn yet, <laughs> and uh, so I gotta do something different to show that I can do something different. There's a really nice scene in uh, Batman and that you were doing that where um, Vicky Bale's getting dressed, and it was a really interesting layout. You had her just kind of like changing, like you drew her proportionately one figure across the page and she was in different modes of dress. Yeah. Yeah.